Stephanie Elizabeth White. What if I can't read them? <laughs> Somebody tap me out. I will never forget the first day you said your first words to me while I was doing a 375 barbell back squat. The words that started what we have today and changed my life forever. As you stood there and stared, you said, you can squat that and attempt to start a conversation with me. When I replied yes, you watched me with nothing else to say and slowly walked away. You are the smartest, most humble, loving character I know. And you bring out the best of me every day. Jacob, our beginning was so unexpected for both of us. From me making a cheesy one-liner in the gym, to you standing at my desk at work trying to make conversation for a whole hour. That's I've a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I, for one, didn't know I was going to find out that if I ever had a soulmate out there, it was you. Maybe that's why we became best friends first. Our unexpected journey was not pressured or forced by anything more than what it truly is. It's two people falling in love with one another and enjoying life with each other. I vow to help you love life as you have helped me. I vow to hold you with tenderness and passion. I vow to have the patience that love demands, to speak kindly when words are needed, and share silence when they are not. I vow to stay true, honest, and loyal, and to love you unconditionally. You challenge me every day to be a better person. Each day I love you more than the last, and I never want to stop getting to know you real. And wonderful soul. You are my favorite love story, my favorite set of eyes, and my favorite smile. Your presence is the music my heart dances to, and your love is the wings that carry me from dreams. <laughs> For the record, I made him cry first. <laughs> Loving you never gets complacent, you are always new and exciting. Whatever you are to aspire, I will be there with you. I vow never to leave nor forsake you. You are mine and I am yours. I love you always and forever. And the bird liked it. <laughs>